September is National Suicide Prevention Month. The latest data comes from 2022, when about 50,000 people died by suicide in the United States, about 1,200 of those right here in Tennessee. News Channel 11's Ansley Daniel was at the Resilient Mind Summit today in Johnson City, which had a focus on bringing together faith groups and mental health resources. Ansley? Yeah, Sarah, when you think of mental health and faith, they often don't go hand in hand, but the Tennessee Suicide Prevention Network wants to close that gap and put all of those resources together in one place. Faith leaders and pastors, groups and organizations, nonprofits, mental and behavioral health providers were all there today. Recovery groups also took part. People were able to join in on roundtable discussions, a question persuade and refer training. However, the Northeast Regional Director says making sure that faith organizations and mental health organizations know that they can lean on each other. We want to just bring these two groups together because a lot of times they don't collaborate. You know, you don't know what you don't know. So faith-based organizations aren't always aware of the resources that mental and behavioral health professionals offer and mental and behavioral health professionals aren't always aware of the ways they could collaborate with faith communities. And that's our hope as we begin this conversation to just increase that collaboration in our region. Dr. Barbara Sims was the keynote speaker. She's the founder and co-facilitator of the Northeast Tennessee Regional Suicide Survivor Support Group. She also lost her son to suicide several years ago. The Tennessee Suicide Prevention Network hosts meetings on the second Tuesday each month. They're from 9 to 1030 at the Washington County Health Department.